Hello friends, today I am going to show you how we do our line drawings for a transpyramidal endoscopic spine surgery. So the patient is lying prone uh, with hips and knees flexed and there's, we have placed two bolsters, one is below the chest and one is below the pelvis and abdomen is free. So uh, we usually center our CM over the midline of the spine and you can use a laser marker if you have it in your CM. And in this case, we are going to focus on L3, L4 level. So the first line that we draw is the midline. Uh, so I'll place my metal marker and I'll draw a line which will de demonstrate a midline. Now, whenever we start this surgery, you, sh you should remember that the pelvis or, or the spine should be not be tilted on either side it should be equal the both the pedicle should be equidistant from the spinous process and then you should draw your line this is the first line now the second line is drawn which is this one is the second line which goes through the disc space in AP view. Now for the third line, you need to turn the CM in the lateral position. In the lateral position, you have to keep your metal marker vertical. It should not be lying like this, it should be vertical. Keep this marker parallel to your disc space. So since we are targeting L3, L4 level, this would be my third line our entry point would be on this third line but the exact entry point would, would be determined by which level we are accessing if we are accessing an l5 s1 or an l4 l5 usually the entry point lies at 12 centimeter from the midline so what you need to do is take your scale and mark it at 12 centimeters and where the line ends this would be your ideal entry point but in this case since this is l3 l4 level and uh, we don't want to go too much lateral so we would start at about 10 centimeters from the midline and this would be the entry point for us now you should note that this entry point lies on this third lateral line and we need to take the uh, the 10 centimeter markings from the midline and wherever it ends that would be our ideal entry point you should remember that this entry point should be on the posterior surface and not on the lateral surface and uh, as you go higher up the entry point markings would reduce further and as you go lower down the entry point would lateralize much more okay so this is the line drawing and this would be our ideal entry point thank you